So at some point in Rust, you might need to dress up as a character if you're going to make a film or something, or machinima, if you will. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get any skin, clothes, weapons, loot boxes, whatever, from the uh, workshop. So what you're going to need for this is your own server. You could buy one, or you could use my tutorial here, which will be in an info card somewhere on the screen and in the description. You're also going to need a modded server, you're going to need UMod, and you're going to need a certain plugin for that. And you're also going to need just these websites up here, so we're going to need our Steam, uh, you're going to need Steam Workshop, and you're going to need this website from Corrosion Hour, which will tell you all the Rust typed names in game. So to start, we're going to search umod.org slash plugins for Rust plugins called Workshop Skin Viewer. And I'll leave a link to this in the description. And we're going to just download it. So once you've downloaded that, we're going to hop onto our server's console and check that we have Oxide installed. So to do that, we type oxide.version. And if it gives us a version, that'll, that tells us that it's working. So next, we're going to head into our server's folder. And we're going to drag the file that you downloaded into your Rust server, Oxide Plugins. So I've got mine just on my other monitor here. I'll just drag this in. And if the server's running, it'll automatically create a config file in Oxide config. We'll also see on here that it's loaded the plugin. Now just to double check, we can do oxide.reload. Workshop skin viewer. And it'll unload and reload it again. So you'll see on the website here, that you need permissions to use it. Now this is a really simple thing to do. It uses Oxide's, Oxide's permission system, as you can see here. So all we're gonna need for this is our Steam64 ID. Uh, you can find this at steamid.io, ton of other websites. Uh, so I, I've got mine here. So we're just gonna go into our console. We're gonna do oxide.grant user paste your Steam64 and then Workshop skin viewer dot use. You'll see here it's given me polygon champ workshop skin viewer dot use. So now that that's all done, we can hop into our server. So I'm just going to connect localhost. Alright, so once we're in the game, we can start working on getting some skins. So let's say I want a... Let's get a Thompson. Where are they? Alright, not Thompson. Sorry, we'll get an MP5. So we're going to tab out. We're going to go through the Steam Community Workshop. I'm going to search Rust. And we can find down here what we want. You see, we've got clothing, we've got weapons and tools, we've got deployables, we've also got the acoustic guitar. So we're going to find the MP5, wherever that is. And let's look for a cool skin. Um, this one, Actually, you know what, this one looks pretty cool. So we're going to click on this. And yep, that looks pretty nice. So what we need to do now is we're going to take the URL. Oh, first we're going to we're going to like it first. I haven't actually signed in. So we're going to like it first, uh, if you're signed in. And we're going to go up to the URL here, and we're going to copy this ID. So if there's something like this, you want to copy the numbers before the ampersand and after the equals. So we're just going to copy this number here. Copy this. And we're going to also look on corrosion hour and we're going to see the name so it's smg.mp5 so let's hop back into rust so once we're back in rust we can type slash w skin smg.mp5 and then we can control v to paste the id and it'll give us a fresh mp5 and it'll take a little while to load in the skin and there we go so now we've got a skinned MP5 ready to use. So that's about it for this video. Um, yeah, that, uh, that's it. That's all there is to know. 
See you in the next one.